Hey, this is Mike. In this video, I'll show you how to delete a column in Excel. So let's say I've got this green table and I want to delete the location column. A quick and easy way to delete a column is just to come up to your column header. In this case, it would be H. And I'm just going to right click on that column header. That selects the entire column and gives me the shortcut menu where I can click on delete. And just as easy as that, it deleted the whole column. Now, if instead I actually want to delete two columns at once, or three, or however many, I can come up here to the column headers, left click, hold down and drag, and select whatever columns I want, in this case just two. I let go and it has selected both of those columns, you see just as far as it goes. Now I can just right click on the column header, say delete, and both columns are gone. Now there might be times when you want to delete a column from a table, like this blue table, but if I select the entire column D, you notice that it would also delete the information in my red table. And in this case I don't want to do that. So when you have that type of situation, you can just come in, highlight the cells you want to delete, in this case I'll highlight the column in the blue table, right click, select delete, and then you get this menu, which might be hard to see, you might need to zoom in. But it already has pre-selected the option for shift cells up. Now I don't want to do that because if I do shift cells up, all of the cells below it are going to move up. So all of a sudden I'm going to have this red column mixed in with my blue table. So instead, if I'm trying to delete uh, this column, I'm going to say shift cells left. I click OK and you see now that the column is gone. I can do the same thing again like we talked about before uh, with deleting multiple columns. I'm just gonna highlight the ones I want. So I just highlighted both columns in the table. Right click, delete, and again I need to change this to shift cells left and click OK. So that's two different ways to delete columns in Excel.